Throughout the centuries, there have been many famous artists who have developed inspiring works of art for the purpose of developing man's appreciation for the beauty of art in our world. Many artists from the great Da Vinci to the modern Lecrae have created masterpieces of music, paintings, movies, books, and drawings. Works from the great pyramids to the Mona Lisa to your favorite music and song albums have been inspiring people for thousands of years. While many of these works of art have been widely published, distributed, and written about in school textbooks, there are other works that need to be brought into light. Today, we are going to show our viewers a painting once thought to be simple. It is, in fact, a humble painting. Many people have overlooked this work of art for a silly joke. However, we intend to show the true nature of this painting and its grand meaning. Our organization, whatever it's called, has sent out film crews around the globe to discover more about the true meaning of this elusive painting. Our first location is in the town of Natomas in the house of Dr. French. He is the owner of one of the oldest copies of this painting. The story of how I obtained the potato painting is an interesting one. I am a doctor of art, so naturally I host many art exhibitions. One night, after leaving an exhibit of surrealist schnitzel sculptures, I stopped at the local boutique gas station to fill up my scooter. Off in the distance, I saw a glowing light coming from behind a dumpster. I approached this strange sight, and before me was an old man. I will never forget the words he said to me. It is dangerous to go alone. Take this. And he gestured behind him to this painting. Little did I know that this was the only one interesting piece of the painting story. Well, it all started on one summer afternoon where me and my friends were just hanging out at the park, having a good old time. Uh, but you know, it being summer, it was quite hot. So being the kind, gentle, and considerate, and you know, very humble friend that I am, I decided to invite those uh, damp, wet, soaking flesh bags into my home. So after we all cooled down, we just started to, you know, lounge around, play Smash Bros. Uh, but somehow, by a, uh, a circumstance that I can only describe as plot armor, led us here into this very room. So one of my friends, you know, it started like this. One of my friends just kind of jokingly asked, why do I have a painting with potatoes in my living room? To which I responded with, well, why wouldn't I? And then one young mind, one brilliant young mind, truly began to understand this painting. And so his brilliance opened all of our eyes to the true meaning of silent contemplation. You see, it takes a person with a deep understanding of art and a willingness to think through things to come to grips with the powerful story behind this painting. Our next destination is a house located somewhere where a boy with this deep understanding lives. Lincoln was the first one to bring this painting's meaning into the light. Now, according to the German theory that this took place in Germany, the potatoes would be the Jews, and they're going to the potato dish, which would be a uh, concentration camp. Now, you can't tell this just from looking at it glancing. You have to look at it under a magnifying glass, as I have. And then you can tell that there's actually 17 potatoes. But the other potatoes are hidden in the art in the cobblestones. The cobblestones actually represent how hard life is. Now, over here, this carrot here, we, um, this carrot is the only orange thing in the entire painting, except for on the German flag. So that could represent that that's a loyal German, but not to the Nazis. Now, over here, we have this garlic. What we know the garlic is, is a Jewish sympathizer which would be a potato sympathizer. And the garlic was one of the ones who hid 
Jews or potatoes in their house. But the pickles are actually Nazi sympathizers and they would follow the potatoes to the potato dish and watch them be beaten to death and made into french fries. So before Lincoln met this potato painting, he was hopelessly lost. He, he had no purpose in life. He realized his goal in life was, was to study that painting and to change the lives of others through it. Michael Silva was a great man. He made this painting called Kartoffelger. As you can see, there's uh, 14 potatoes in the center of the painting and one eggplant and four pickles and garlic and a carrot, which are the only characters in the painting. There's also a German flag and that could mean that it's in Germany, but it could also mean that it's in a country that was occupied by Germany. However, a small German flag portrayed in the middle of the painting indicates that the setting is in fact Germany. Others think it is set in Greece, though this hasn't been studied extensively. Now down the road here, you can't see it in this painting, but you know from other Michael Soa's other works that there is a pig farm at the end of this road. And in that window, there's a cat. The eggplant is a Nazi soldier, according to this one theory. And all of this is according to the German theory. Over here, we have these two poles with a chain in between them. And that represents how the Jews were chained off from normal civilization. Our next destination is someone who was inspired by this piece of art. This painting has been uh, very influential in my life, actually. Uh, I'm just so grateful that Lincoln brought um, this majestic painting into the light. I think it does a great job of illustrating what art is all about, you know, just the abstractness of it, you know, how there's not one right answer, um, the fragility of life. Ever since, ever since, uh, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> ever since I, I saw the painting, I began to uh, appreciate the art around me. There are also many controversies surrounding this work of art. Some are skeptical about its importance. Others believe it's just a piece of junk. I don't care. I do not care what people are saying about this painting. I don't want anyone to see it. Deserve respect. Yes, there are many controversies surrounding this painting. Michael Soa never fully explained what this portrait portrays, which left many people wondering. He spent so many years just taking notes, looking at geography of Germany, studying German history, the language. Lincoln has actually taken two trips to Germany and the only thing he did there was go from potato farm to potato farm and just study the culture around potatoes in Germany and try to understand what's the true meaning behind why Michael Soa used potatoes as the main subject in his painting. My own studies have shown that Mr. Soa desired to show his past life in Germany through this portrait. The potatoes, of course, represent the persecuted Jews during World War II and he used other vegetables to portray how the world needs to come together for a greater purpose and make the world a better place. I believe the biggest inspiration for me was the carrot in the painting. It was actually Lincoln who originally pointed out the carrot to me. It inspired me to be a better person. I, I wish people would try to understand. The painting is profound. It, it can change your life. As you can see, Lincoln's life has changed dramatically. He's, he's dedicated to the study of this painting. I think we have enough footage for now. Yes, I think we need to go. But you haven't even scratched the surface. You have no idea why the cat's in the window. You need to know all of this information, otherwise it's not even a documentary. We just need you just, you haven't even learned why the pickles have a lid on their jar. You don't even know if they're going to drown in their own juice. The you need 